all right welcome back guys so our blog is working so if i add another discussion here something like general yet another post and uh, some data here all right and start discussion i can have images as well so that will also show up and if i refresh here the new post is right here and if i go to that i just see welcome what is this now the problem was so when we went here we weren't passing the parameters so number one was sent to all the posts so what we do is we get params here now this params will get to you the number as well so it will have number inside something like this that number can be passed here now this number will depend on the url we go to so here if i go to four it should be four uh, let me see if i'm getting the correct so dot log number and i should get the number yeah i'm getting number four here repository okay undefined reading repository okay some something some issues there and for the variables i'm passing the number okay, so something is wrong with the page so i'll just uh i don't really need the page at this moment can properties of dot server okay number page it's okay so let me see uh let me get the data here just the data and i'll just console that data see if i'm getting the data uh, it says undefined so let me see if without restructuring do i get something a uh, variable number of int was provided invalid value okay um so i see the error i'm i'm gonna remove all this okay try catch may be there now the number um if i console that number uh type of number maybe so what i should get is a string yeah i'm getting a string now what it expects is not a string so what i can do is parse integer and then number so by doing this whatever you know the number is as a string it will be passed into integer now if i refresh i think i should get it uh, i'm not quite sure okay so i think i'm getting because i commented out the page it's not showing up yeah so all the blocks should work welcome works example post works yeah so things are things are fine here now this is not what i was intended to do in this one we actually want to move this fetch to a different file and use it now i will also import fetch in this case and i will pass uh, i'll use it i'll tell you where um let's say we want all this maybe we just want until here in a different file right so i will create a file somewhere maybe i will have a directory called library and then inside i will have fetcher dot js you can name it anything i'm just naming it fetcher i will have const uh, fetcher as a function here to make this asynchronous and it will get something uh, some parameters and then it will like you know do few things and then return uh, some things also i will export this function by default fetcher uh, now we are only gonna send data back so we are only gonna do data and then return data also we'll have a try catch block here as well and whenever there is an error we'll console maybe that error and also throw that error all right now this remains the same github token so github token is something we want we'll import that okay and that is there query so we want the query to be coming from somewhere variables we want the variables to be coming from somewhere and uh, that way we can just have variables this fetch right fetch can be um 
the uh, you know maybe node fetch if not you know we can use their fetch i think we can let the user pass the fetch as well yeah so let me see if i can use this now i'll replace that in maybe here which has the variable right so do i use plural yeah i use plurals i'll import this import um fetcher from here so i can remove all this and use dollar library which is nice now i'm gonna remove all this till here maybe and do fetcher and i want the variable to be defined okay query i can pass right away query i have because this is the query uh, now variables i don't have variables so i'll define variables equals we knew that number and also we did parse int number so this number is coming from here from the params we pass the variables here and then we pass the fetch uh, the swell kit fetch here uh, this can be res that's okay and i'll comment this out for now console.log response okay so let me see now repository discussion okay so i will have to do repository here and then discussion here okay and now i can pass that discussion there okay so this token we don't need all right now that became a little simpler i think instead of having a long fetch function in everything so we just made it simpler now this can be reused here as well so everything here can be taken out to fetcher and then uh, query and there is no variable present here and i can have fetch from here so what i will do is in place of variable i just pass an empty object and then fetch dollar and okay so this i think data is not required which is already done i think this should still work if i go back to home page it is not working uh res is not defined okay ah, okay so it's uh it's just the response we got the json in the fetcher itself yeah so everything works now we have a reusable fetch or fetcher which has these details so here i think you can uh, replace few things in your query as well so in, in your query you see that you know it's github cms and the owner name you can make this into a variable and pass it as a variable from here along with variables you can pass them uh, you can actually put that into environment file um, and make sure you define what repository and what is the owner uh, and you can do that but in our case you know um, we don't want to complicate it that much but it yeah, it's it's working fine at this moment now this is all good uh, if you observe here when you go to a post like it's article and there is a number which is which is not really good for seo now if you want to have a good search engine optimization you should have something like this here so maybe separated by uh, hyphens right so that's that's one also if you go back here and you see now if you hover on it it will get the uh, data ready to load so it, it fetches the data as well now we may not want this because you know since uh, there will be rate limitations what we want is we want these to be cached so that when user visits the same page it should be cached and it shouldn't make another request so all these things uh, that will be covered in another video which is which will be a paid one uh, i hope you will join and get to that as well. I'll see you there. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.